I'm finally doing it, people. I'm finally doing it. The Flamethrowers podcast is here. Finally. It's not going to be as long as the podcast I watch because I need to get a better mic. I need to get a better setup in general. And blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Nobody cares. Except for me, currently. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get your flame on. All right. Um, We're not going to start off with like the main story or anything like that. I'm going to go into some, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take a deep dive, buddy. I'm going to take a deep dive. We're going to go into stuff that started before chapter one, which is everything with um, the queens who are actually pretty prevalent in the story right now. Not, not the actual characters that make up the queens, but the royal family. Let me get let me get into it real. Let me get get into the breakdown. Yeah. All right. So at the top, we have the queens. This is the hierarchy, right? We have the queens, and they have subsections under them, which is the royal family in general. That's that is what makes up. Like the queens are the highest part of the royal family. They also have the West Rebels which is a group of mercenaries pretty much that they have on like personal call like if sequoia who is the leader of the queens if she says do something the west rebels do it they get it done whatever so they have the west rebels i couldn't tell you how many there are at this very moment because i am blanking uh but you created it yeah i know um there's the West Rebels. Good Lord, if I say that one more time. There's also the Welco Clan, which is, they're not mercenaries, but mm, they're a part of, well, the, their leader, the leader of the Welco Clan, Prime, or Kinkosha Vader, which is the main antagonist of this current story arc that we're in right now. She is a part of one of the subsections of the royal family, which is the royal family knights. And the knights are under the queens, obviously, because the queens are highest in the hierarchy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right. The queens are the highest. The, the royal knights are under the queens. And I'd say the West Rebels are under the Royal Knights. Only because they're just a squad of, mer like a, a group of mercenaries who personally work for the Queens. They don't work for anybody else. And they don't have their own agenda or anything because the Queens are crazy rich and they can pay them whatever they want to work with them exclusively. Okay, so we've established Queens on top. <laughs> Royal Family Knights, West Rebels. Everybody in this group is a part of the royal family. Those three pink triangles, that's the symbol for the royal family. And if you ever see that in the story, it means royal family. And obviously, if you're rooting for the flamethrowers, you have a problem with the royal family. If you're not rooting for the flamethrowers, then you suck. It's like, I'm just playing. You can root for wherever you want. I don't care. I made all the characters. I like all the characters. Obviously, some characters suck because they're ideals. But that's why we have the flamethrowers to deal with those idiots. Let's get back on track here. Holy Lord. All right. So the royal family is based out of the west side of the Milky Way galaxy. And obviously, there's four sides to the Milky Way galaxy. North south east and west the flamethrowers earth more appropriately is in the north side as well as um pretty much all of the other flamethrowers planets like dolphin star leo obviously and alex everybody is based in the north <laughs> and uh yeah the queens are trying to take control of the west side of the milky way galaxy there's a problem though, because one of the queens, um, Adele Shiroi, her mom, right? 
Her mom is the supreme commander of the west side of the Milky Way galaxy. And obviously you're just thinking to yourself right now, like, well, if her mom is the like supreme commander, if, if she's, oh, that bug moved. Oh, where did it go? Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. So if, if her mom is the supreme commander, right? Well, how, how was, like, how are they having problems, like, getting, getting control? Well, it's because she doesn't like her mom, right? And neither does Sequoia, Sequoia, the leader of the Queens. Nobody like, nobody likes her mom. We'll, we'll get into her mom and the importance of her mom, of Adele's mother, later, because it's kind of a big deal. But, uh, back to the Queens, that's their, that's their goal to take over the west side of the Milky Way galaxy. And they're doing it by um, distributing illegal substances. They're drug dealers. They're drug lords. They're, um, um, God damn it, what, what are they called? They're, uh, they're drug lords, man, whatever. And they're doing a pretty good job because they're, they're pretty rich. They have a lot of credits. They make it happen. And uh, obviously we've had run-ins with the drug that they're, they're the main drug that they're using in uh, the story already. It's called Ko, it's K-K-O with a little apostrophe. I just thought that'd be cool. I don't know if that makes it actually say something else, like Koo or something, I don't know, but it, it's Ko. I make the rules, man. I make the rules, man. All right. Um. That's what's taking over the galaxy right now. And Co in itself is not uh, insanely uh, harmful like to people in general. I mean, it's, it's pretty much cocaine on a hundred gazillion. Like if a human were to do it, I mean, I don't personally have experiences, but, um, from what I hear through the grapevine for people that I've met in my life who do it they say it's not that crazy it is um co is though it would be it would be <laughs> detrimental to say the least to a human's life <laughs> anyway um so this co I mean co is going around it's like whatever everybody does like not everybody does it but I mean like you know you 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 know what I'm trying to say here man um <laughs> That's what they're doing, and it's pretty successful. The Queens have built quite the empire since they started in, oh Lord, holy Lord, when did they start? In 2005 is when Sequoia and Adele started their plan to take over the west side of the Milky Way galaxy. And so far it's kind of working, but I mean, obviously they have hurdles to get through. And uh, they're working on it. So hence why they have the royal family. Uh, the royal family is not the sickest, craziest group of individuals in the galaxy. But they are trying to make a name and become that. The sickest, craziest group of individuals in the galaxy. They got a long way to go. Let's just say that. Without spoiling anything that's going to come in the future, they got a long way to go. And, I mean, if the flamethrowers want to become anything close to that, they got a long way to go. I mean, uh, but they'll do. I mean, they'll get there, hopefully, if that's what if that's what Glory and the squad wants to do. I'm getting into spoiler territory. I'm going to just rewind. Yeah. Um, all right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, the royal family, the queens, the royal knights, the Welko clan, the West Rebels. Uh, who else do the Queens have under them? Jesus. It's pretty nuts. You know, I'm blanking on all the stuff that the Queens have going. I mean, like, when we first, I think the first reference to the Queens was chapter 11, where Star and Daphne are in, like, the, I think I'm pretty sure it's the third round of the Universe Tournament. Star and Daphne are fighting. Uh, Dolphin and Glory are 
watching on the sidelines. And Alex comes up to Dolphin and Glory, and she, like, like casually, I'm pretty sure she, like, casually says, like, did you hear about what happened on, um, to the bank of Cavera or whatever? And then Dolphin is, like, I think Dolphin just instantly takes it as, like, get away from me. Or, like, what do I, who, why are you talking to me? So they have a problem immediately. And, uh, I think Glory... She's actually over there to talk to Glory to get, like, she wants to join the flamethrowers. And Glory kind of disregards what she says. Cause he doesn't know anything about the queens except for what he's learned from uh, Dolphin. And I think bef right before Alex comes over, Dolphin says something in response to what Daphne says when she's fighting Star. Daphne is the one who starts the queen's talk because she was going to use the money that she got from the universe tournament that Almighty promised her. And it was like off screen. You never saw that, but maybe I'll maybe I'll draw that one day. That'd be cool. Why everybody joined the universe tournament. Anyway, let me, let's get back. Let's get back on get get the train rolling, buddy. Um <laughs> Yeah, so Daphne was promised money. And she was gonna take that money and use it to get to Gamma 9. Where the queens are she wanted to join the queens because she wants to be she wants to be top g but daphne can't be top g because uh she gets her ass whooped by star anyway uh so that's what starts the whole queen's talk and obviously later on in the arc there's another guy named kane what is his last name kane veshno cabra yeah He's actually working for the Queens as like, a, I'm pretty sure I named them like pawns. It's all, okay. Let me, let me give you some big brain knowledge here or what I think is big brain. Oh my God, that bug keeps moving, dude. I don't know where he is. Ugh, I'm not really worried about it though. Uh, I based all of the Queen stuff off of a chessboard, right? Since, and who's the most powerful piece on the chessboard? The king. <laughs> Obviously. But who could do the most damage? Like, let's keep it real, okay? Listen to me, my friend. The queen is the craziest, sickest chess piece that you can have. Because she can go up, down, left, right, diagonal, blah, blah, blah. The queen, I mean, Jesus, the king can do all that too, but... This dude only moves one step at a time. Because he's like, dude, I'm top G. I don't got to go all over the board at one time. I, 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 choose my, I choose my moves with my brain, not my emotions. You know what? This doesn't have to turn into... <laughs> this doesn't have to turn into a discussion about, uh, about chess and... Uh, women how they're different than men or whatever <laughs> and i'm only saying top g because i think it's funny i'm not i don't subscribe to the andrew tate um way of life <laughs> but anyway uh so the queens you know what that's that's, that's pretty much what they're trying to do um uh, you know what this is just going to be the first episode <laughs> of the flamethrowers podcast <laughs> the queen's hierarchy and what they're trying to do and i'll hit you back with another one whenever i decide if this is going to be a real thing or not so um uh, listen dude uh flamethrowersmanga.com if you want to read more about the queens go to flamethrowersmanga.com go to side stories that page and at the bottom there should be the gamma nine like the entire short novel is on there for free and you can read more about the queens. And uh, obviously, if you want to uh, read the actual story, chapters 1 through 20, the, fir the entire first arc is done. That's already out. Uh, chapters 21 through 35 is also done. That's also out. And uh, chapters 21 through 35 is, well, 21 and on is the start of the Welco arc 
and they are obviously like i said they're right under the queens they're a part of the royal family so it's all there for you just go check it out and um if i actually want to make the flamethrowers podcast a real thing i'll see you on the next episode and i'm gonna figure out how to get a whole bunch of other cool stuff on there i don't know i'm gonna figure i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing dog i'm gonna do a thing figure it out be the guy save the world all right i'm out of here yo <laughs>